Hello everyone, we interrupt your regularly scheduled Danganronpa 2 Let's Play, which is over here. It's right here, don't worry, it's not lost. To play the Danganronpa V3 Killing Harmony demo. Now, I'm actually super waiting for this to start up. Just you wait, I'll get to you eventually. But, um, originally I was not gonna touch this, and what it came down to was the fact that I'm like, I don't really want spoilers for the full Danganronpa 3. However, I've been told that A... This is one of those demos that is not a section of the game, but rather an entirely separate thing. B, there's no spoilers in it whatsoever. And C, it actually will unlock something in the full game if you beat it. That is a recipe for me loving it. So hey, let's get a preview of the third world of Danganronpa, the f well, fourth. We'll get to Ultra Despair Girls. Oh, did I just hint a potential let's play? Ho oh, ho, we'll see. So, uh, I know nothing about Danganronpa V3 other than it exists, and there has been no... Ooh, what is this? Wow, that's foreboding. Um, that's also slightly less foreboding. Um, there was no big outcry on it existing. I've had... Ooh, that's style. I've, uh, played many games where, um, or I've heard of many games where it's like the third, and the third one will come out and people will be like, Ugh, it's bad now. And even in Japan, so this is a nice menu. Let's see here, voice. Wait, what? Wait, it's Dongenrampa? Wow, I feel like a big dumb idiot now. I've been saying it Danganronpa, it's Dongenrampa. Well, that's dumb. Other than that, control shooter Danganronpa. Let's stick to Dangan. Wait, let's stick with Danganronpa, considering I know that. That's weird. Wait, movement control shooter Danganronpa. Let's go with Danganronpa. That's what I love. Vibe on voice in English, as it should be. Let's head in. Oh, gross. Who would play a game in Japanese? A loser, that's who. Team dubs all the way. In this demo, you may start by exploring the school or slip ahead to the class trial. During the class trial, the evidence you gather while exploring will be presented as you debate. If this is your first time, yeah, we're going to start from the beginning, for sure. Aw, oh, little fancy opening. Please don't be the whole thing. It probably is. I don't think they'd make an, ex uh, 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 an exclusive opening intro for the demo. Hi day. Oh, okay. I'm sorry, that's a robot name. Is he a robot? I'm looking for any names I recognize in terms of first name, last name. Oh, there's Monokuma. Hey, if you're a girl, you'd be cute. She's cute. Kind of not a fan of long hair. Wow, you're pretty buff. Okay. Oh, I like her little kitty face. Okay, she's great. Okay, I really like this cast, actually. Okay, this is- I like this. They're- they're going in on that- that PS4 budget. Even though it's also on the Vita. Shh, that console doesn't exist anymore. So I did know that we play as a girl in this one. Um, I was never actually told, but I saw her in a many, um, poses similar to, uh, like, main character poses. I guess I should start by introducing myself. My name is Kaide Ak Akamatsu. Kaide Akamatsu. 
My last name roughly translates to passionate red maple tree. Yo, I get you. That's Canadian. It doesn't really fit me, but I still like my last name. It's okay. My last name means peeing up a river is a bad idea. Huh? Wait, who am I even talking to? I was walking my usual route to school when... Huh? Why is it so dark? Huh? Oh, look at that name there! That's a good font. Huh? Where am I? Is this... a classroom? Is she musical-based? Looking at her hair? Yeah, it's a classroom, all right, but I don't recognize it at all. Why was I sleeping here? Oh, are you awake? Good morning, Kaede. Wait, you sound like Makoto. Oh! Huh? Hi, Makoto! <laughs> Why is Makoto here? <laughs> Who are you? How do you know my last name? Do we know each other? I don't remember you, though. <laughs> oh, sorry if I scared you. Let me introduce, reintroduce, or let me introduce myself. My name is Makoto Naegi. I'm the ultimate lucky student. What are you doing here? Wow. Hi, Makoto. Huh? Ultimate lucky student? Aw, oh, she's cute when she's cross-eyed. Yeah. Yeah, well, actually, the fact that you get to see her expressions is new. Yeah, I'm a student at this academy. Every year, they choose uh, one student in the whole country by lottery. And they attend this academy as the ultimate lucky student. I see. Only one student in the entire country? That's amazing! You must be really lucky! Hmm, I don't know luck could be considered an ultimate talent. <laughs> <laughs> I guess. And I suppose I'm your upperclassman. Yeah. Nice to meet you again, ultimate pianist Kaide. Oh, interesting. Huh? What? what? You're my upperclassman? Oh, I'm very sorry, Makoto Senpai. They're going in with that translation, Mr. Makoto. I thought. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about that. No need for the Senpai. Huh? Wait, now that I think about it, I haven't introduced myself yet. How did you know I was the ultimate pianist? That's me. She's cute. I like her. <laughs> oh, information about the new students is public record. I just looked at that. New students? I already attend a high school, though. Hey, Makoto, where are we? What is this academy? Hey! Maybe it's best to just show you. Could you try checking that desk? The desk? Hope this doesn't give too much away about, uh, Danganronpa 3. Hey there, I'm sure you're confused right now. You're thinking, where am I? Well, I can't explain that, but I can give a basic control, uh, controls. L stick to move the reticle. Press X to investigate. R checks your surroundings. Press, uh... R1 to smack objects around? Who knows? Wait, what? What? Smack stuff around? I want to try that. What? That's new. That's actually a cool gimmick. I was resting on my head on this desk when I... Woke up. Ew, I drooled a little on it. Nah, girls who drool are cute. I need to clean that later. So on this desk, there's... Huh? A letter. If you want to progress the story, come to the gym. Well, that's for that's up, right? But please be careful. There are other people wandering around. If you talk to them, you'll end up having to listen to their introductions. Deja vu. I've just been in this place before. Er, sorry, there's no time for that right now. Anyway, come to the gym. Seriously, please. Seriously, please? What do they mean by please? <laughs> I feel like this is a prank. Just a prank, bro. But I wonder what's at the gym and who are these other people? I checked my desk, I was told, but I'm even more confused now. Hey. Hey, Makoto, does this mean there are other people in this academy besides us? Yeah. You aren't the only new student. Everyone's waiting for us outside. It might be good to greet everyone before we head over to the gym. Of course, if you wanted to, you could go straight there. It's up to you. Yeah. Okay, got it. Wait, I'm a new student? What does that mean? Jeez, why is this happening? What the hell is this academy? I want to smack more stuff. Leave by pressing circle. Yes, smack you! That's such a weird function. <laughs> it's so weird! I actually really love it. 
feel like there's a lot you can do with that. Probably lead to a lot of interesting uh, scenarios going on. <laughs> Check the blackboard. That's kind of crazy. Is this a blackboard? It's not weird to see a blackboard in a school, but... This blackboard is also an LCD screen. There's something you don't see every day. I mean, smart board you would, but not an LCD screen. It's just an ordinary locker. I don't know what to, uh, else to expect from a locker. Hmm. Whoa! This is the demo. Everybody gather around. That's adorable. Interesting. Oh, so this shows you everything you can look at. Oh, that's actually much better than the circles. I can see moss outside the window, but there's barbed wire on them. Why are there school windows covered in barbed wire? That's actually a really cool... Oh, yeah, I can feel like they're definitely going in more door. Oh, that transition. Whoa. Move with the left stick. Hold down L1, you can run. You can also look with the right stick. Press, uh, map. What a convenient word this become. Well, then off you go. Find your classmates. Yeah, Dangarampa style. I love you. What's up? Rantaro Amami. Hey. Oh, hey there. You guys get kidnapped too? Well, you both look alright. That's good. No. Situation could be better, though. Yeah. Yeah, totally. Hey. Hey, let me ask you something. Do you guys remember how you got here? Um. I don't really remember, but maybe Makoto knows? I feel like Makoto knows a lot. He seems to be a student of this academy, too. Mm -hmm. Oh, is that right? No. Ah, uh, yes, but even I don't fully understand how I got there, here. What? Huh, really? Actually. So you don't remember how you got here either. I guess that means everyone here is the same. Huh? huh everyone? No. I asked the others too, and they all said they don't remember. Mm. So the others don't remember either. You got me. It's like uh, we all have amnesia or something. Mm. I guess so. That's not true. Wait, amnesia's a stretch. We're probably just confused. I'm sure we'll remember eventually. No. Sure, it could be group hypnosis, maybe brainwashing. What are you the ultimate of? In any case, I hope you remember soon. That's a shame. Otherwise, I'll wind up I'll end up the outcast. Mm. The outcast? What do you mean? How should I put this? Tell the truth, how I got here is the only thing I don't remember. I also forgot my own talent. Oh What? You got me. <laughs> Whoa, that hands. I'm in trouble. I know I must have some kind of ultimate. I just don't remember. Um. Is that true? Oh yeah. Of course it is. But then again, I don't blame you for not believing me. Oh. oh, I never told you my name, did I? My name is Rantaro Mommy. Rantaro Mommy. I can't remember my ultimate talent at the moment. You sound like Johnny Young Bosch. But I promise, I'm not a bad guy. Nice to meet you. Hmm. Curious. That's right. Oh, Makoto, you saw the documents about the incoming freshmen, didn't you? Did you happen to see what Rentaro's talent is? Well, in the document I received, it didn't say anything about Rentaro. Huh? huh, really? <laughs> Maybe I'm here by mistake. To be honest, I don't remember anything about being a freshman either. What? No, that's not true. You're an ultimate student without a doubt. You sound awfully sure. Yeah. Well, it's not so strange that you weren't on the document. It only contained public info. Some ultimates don't want their talents known so openly. Yeah. I wouldn't worry about it. One day your talent will become clear. That's true. <laughs> well, I'll take it. For someone who can't remember his talent, he doesn't seem too shaken up about it. Actually. Is it that weird? Or is it is it weird that I'm not really bothered by the fact that I don't remember my talent? Huh? What? I'm looking forward to it. I'm actually kind of looking forward to finding out. I wonder what ultimate I am. <laughs> anyway... It'd be nice if we could get along. We aren't going anywhere for a while. Jeez. Stop that, we'll escape soon. Mm -hmm. You really think it's gonna be that easy? Huh? Huh, what do you mean? No. Nothing, just a feeling. <laughs> <laughs> hey, don't worry about it, alright? Maybe he knows we're in a demo. I thought he would be a pretty chill guy to talk to. I have no idea what's going through his head right now. Those are some baggy pants. Wait, let's check. Oh, no. oh, hey, you can actually walk through them. Um, they're still slightly taller, but not as bad as in the other games. Who are you? 
Hi there, Ryu from Street Fighter. Wait, is he the ultimate bug catcher? Look at that Japanese bug catching thing. Whoa, this guy looks scary. So big and muscular. Um, um excuse me. Huh? huh? Wait. Thank you. <gasps> no, he's a cutie pie. I'm kidding. Huh? Huh? Thank you. Sorry. Oh, sorry for scaring. Um. Gone to scary looking. Whoa, no! Don't tell me he's. A oh no! I take it back. I just. I hate people who talk like cavemen. Gone to scary looking. Most people not want to talk to Gonta when first when meeting for first time. Cause Gonta gentlemen. So like gentlemen, Gonta say thank you. Thank you for talking to Gonta. Yeah. Um, thank you for being so polite. He looks scary, but he doesn't seem very scary at all. Oh. Oh right, Gonta need to make introduction. Um. Gonta's um. His name is Gonta Gokuhara. Gonta's talent is ultimate entomologist. That's uh. That's animals, right? No. Gonta want to become gentlemen. Becoming true gentlemen, Gonta's goal. Entomology. Study of insects, I think? I'm not sure. Regardless, um... Okay, Tarzan. Didn't expect that. I see. Oh, so, so you're Gonta. That's a really cute name. Huh? Uh, really? <laughs> Thank you. Oh, yeah. well, you're actually pretty nice. Silly me for being scared at first. I see, cause Gonta's scary looking, right? Sorry. Oh, sorry, that's not what I... No, no it's okay. Gonta used to it. Gonta called scary since he was a kid. Um. Since you were a kid, huh? By the way, you say you're an entomologist, right? What's... I mean... You like bugs too? Yeah, bugs, I thought huh? so. But bugs, well... You... Hate bugs? Huh? Wait, what? Ow! You... Hate... Bugs? Uh. No, Jeez. no, of course not. I don't hate them. I love them. Thank goodness. Okay, good. That good. No bad person likes bugs. Um. Yeah, you're right. <laughs> Even if you don't like bugs, I wouldn't want to break that news to Gonta. To be honest, I don't really like bugs, but I should keep that a secret. Uh, I could see that dealing with some terrifying, um, you know, species or something. Okay, so this is just really a demo for introductions, I guess. Wait a second! Well, that's spoiled that he survives. No, I'm joking. I kind of knew, because I saw the DVDs for Danganronpa 3, the future thing. But, hi! I wonder if that person... <gasps> Wait! No! Spoilers! What's up? Uh, uh, hey, Makoto. Something wrong? No, they know each other! Hajime, this is Kaede Akamatsu, the ultimate pianist. He's also your upperclassman, Kaede. Oh, another upperclassman. I better turn on the charm then. Um, um I'm Kaede Akamatsu. Nice to meet you, sir. My name is Hajime Hinata. I think I'm a grade ahead of you. But either way, nice to meet you. Wow, Johnny Young Boss, you're doing a much higher voice. Oh, good. Thank you for not spoiling it. Hmm. You think you're a grade ahead? What do you mean by that? Yeah. Well, I don't really have an ultimate talent like the rest of you here. Huh? Huh? You're not an ultimate? <laughs> well, Hajime, we have seniority, but... She's the protagonist this time around. Yo! Protagonist? Right. Oh, well, if that's the case, then I guess you are an underclassman of mine. Feel free to talk to me if you've got any problems, Kaede. Um. Uh, thank you very much. This is weird, I need to do the, uh, the, the voice. The same voice! They're the same! And also, what do they mean by protagonist? Well, dang. You are just the cutest! Yaha! Yaha, how are ya? My name is Angie Yonaga. I'm the ultimate artist. I love you! Angie Yonaga. Look at her kitty face! The god of my island, Atua, is always with me, speaking to me with his divine voice. Oh, well, she's certainly devout. Um, do you specialize in painting or sculpting? Uh... Huh? I do both. I draw drawings and I sculpt sculptures. Wow, you're doing kind of a Jojo pose there. But Atua's the one who makes the art. I merely offer my body as his vessel. So divine! Nyahaha, how divine! You're so cute! 
I see. That's interesting. If you don't mind, can you show me show me some of your artwork? Of course, of course. Of course, of course. In return, will you make an offering? Huh? An offering? Uh... Every Monday and Wednesday on my island, a truck comes to collect offerings. That sounds oddly similar to putting out the trash for pickup. But, but... Don't worry, don't worry. When I say offering, I just mean a pint or two of your blood. Don't worry. Um, I'm a bit anemic, so I'll pass. I don't know if she's friendly or not, but she's not easy to approach. She's so cute, though. Oh, I just want to give her the hugs. Okay, so you got running. You got levels. Actually, can I open up the menu? What do we got here? Ooh. Ooh, fancy. Report cards. Oh, I don't want to spoil them until I see them later, though. Rules. Okay, that's it. Okay, cool. I'm gonna get my friends to download this, because this is like the... They all have PS4, so they're gonna... They're gonna enjoy this. Hey! Shuichi Saihara. If you are a girl, you're the best girl, because your hair is short and you wear it dressed like a dude. That's totally my, 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 my thing. If you're a guy, hey, you're pretty cool too. Hey! Hey, are you a freshman in this academy too? Uh, okay. Well, no, you're a guy. Uh, yes, I don't remember much, but it appears this is that is the case. Which means you have an ultimate talent as well, right? I'm Shuichi Saihara. They call me the ultimate detective, right? Ultimate detective? Wait a second. Wait a second. Wait a tick. Huh? What? You're a detective? That's amazing. No. Ah, no, I don't have the credentials to call myself a detective yet. Why are you so cute? Hmm... I just happened to solve a case that I came across and... Now people call me that. No. Not many people can just happen to solve a case. You should be more proud of that. Yeah, that's right! Oh yeah, my name is Kaede Kamatsu. I'm the ultimate pianist. Nice to meet you, Shuichi. Uh, um... Nice to meet you too. A detective, huh? He doesn't look that reliable, but maybe I could talk to him if I have a problem. You look... suspicious. That's for sure. Can I head to the bathroom? Girl's bath- <gasps> I'll just wait here. What? I feel like I made the situation awkward. Wait, what? Okay, there we go. Oh no, Makoto said that! Oh hey, you're in here! Whoa, hey girl! Oh my goodness, that is some leg wear. Hey, what are you looking for? Oh, wow, huh. Don't sneak up on me, bitch! I literally just met you, and you've already called me a bitch. Hey. hey, your vulgar language is uncalled for. Just who are you, anyway? Please? Seriously? You don't know who I am? I'm the gorgeous girl genius whose good looks and golden brain will go down in history. Hi there, Wendy Lee again. I'm the one, the only, the legendary ultimate inventor herself, Yui Ruma! She's cute. Well, I've never heard of you. Um, so, uh, what kind of things do you invent? Hmm. I make all kinds of gadgets. Uh, ones that let you type while you sleep, read while you sleep. Even ones that let you eat while you sleep. Why does everything involve sleeping? Sure. I was inspired after I realized how much time people waste on sleep. <laughs> Though, uh, this one time I really- I invented these really stupid eyedrop contact lenses as a gag. Huh? Wait, what? That's your invention? Some of my friends wear them. <laughs> Your friends sound like total plebs. That invention was nothing. Doesn't make you more productive while you sleep, so it was a failure, just like you. I signed the patent rights over to some company. I never looked back. That seems like a waste. It's way better than your do-stuff-while-sleeping inventions. Well, that's uh, me, I guess. Can I smack anything away? Ah, uh, yeah. Smack these doors open. Maybe not. Oh, hey, smack those off the walls. Wow, this is such a weird feature that I actually wonder if it will ever have real purpose. Need to go into more rooms then. Thanks for waiting, Makoto. No problem, shall we? Can I head to the guy's bathroom? It's the boy's bathroom, right? I can't go in there. That's embarrassing. Okay, so... Up here we have... Whoa! Okay. Well, you look like a fun fellow. What is it? 
you wonder who is this. Yes, I shall make that clear first. My name is Karekio Shinguchi. I am called the ultimate anthropologist. Wait, like, wait, what? I'm sorry, nothing about you screams anthropology at all. Hmm. Korikio? Wait, Kori? Yeah, Korikio? Anthropologist? Oh. Please, call me Kyo. As for anthropology, would you like a simple explanation? I see. Okay, sure. Anthropology is... Studies, customs, legends, folktales, songs, and much more. There are, may even be customs in your daily life, the origins of which you do not know. Let's see. For example, certain aspects of your birthday or New Year's celebrations. Anthropology sheds light on traditions and customs such as those through rigorous analysis. It is a study that examines the thought behind culture, faith, and customs. Mm -hmm. Okay, I sort of get it, but not really, though. Sounds like a lot of fun, though. That's correct. Well, of course it's fun. It is a study focused on humanity. Beautiful. Okay, calm down, man. I believe that human beings are creatures who possess infinite beauty. Huh? What? I... I find all aspects of humanity, even the ugly parts, to be beautiful. Our present situation is rather intriguing. What beauty will I be able to witness here? Humanity is beautiful. <laughs> Kono subarashi. I mean, people are wonderful. This guy looks like a creep. And it turns out he is one, too. Dude, you are a freak. That's crazy. Dining hall, grab some grub. I want to munch. I'm going to crunch. Oh, there's a bunch of people in here. Okay, let's go one by one here. Okay, you are cute. Prepare to be amazed. Fall oh, you're... to your knees. I am Himiko Yumeto, the ultimate maid. She sounds so cute! <laughs> but I'm officially called the ultimate magician. Oh, I love you! It's that face! I see. Oh, so you're a magician. You should have said that from the start. Hmm. I mean, it makes sense though, since magic doesn't exist, girl. Uh, magic does exist. Huh? Huh? Because I'm a mage. Um, You're a magician. You're just a magician, right? No. Only on paper. Okay. I'm known as a magician, but that's just a ruse. I am actually a mage. Huh? Just a ruse. A group trying to hide magic's existence from the world labeled my magic as tricks. Because of this ru ruse, I became famous all over the world for performing tricks. But I'm not a magician. I'm a mage. Nobody believes me. There, there, don't be sad. Well, uh, could you show us your magic? Then we would, uh, believe you. That's right. Oh, that's right. Help us out with your magic. Take us back to when we originally... Magic isn't all-powerful. I can only do so much. I see, then what can you do? You're right. I can choose the card you picked, pull out coins, and release doves. Yeah. If I get serious, I can even saw someone in half. Those are just ordinary magic tricks. She's cute. And what's with you? Kinda like your style. I must be- oh my god, she's just chi. I must be prepared for combat at all times, just in case someone tries to attack me. I will protect myself with Neo Aikido. Oh, that's so cool. Guys, I'm sorry. I mark out if anyone puts Neo in front of a technique. Huh? Aikido, then you're. Oh, yes. I'm Tango Chabashira. Yeah, the ultimate Aikido master. You're so cool. <laughs> Neo Aikido. Oh, I always imagined Aikido Masters to be huge, burly guys, but you're so cute! C cute Stop it! I- I'm not cute! My face crinkles when I suck down on a shape, and when I wipe my face, my eyelids turn inside out- That's actually pretty gross. Um, I see, but I think you're cute, right, Makoto? What? Um, 
Don't. Oh! 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 Don't answer that. What's the matter? Your face just went blank all of a sudden. I don't like to be praised by degenerate males. Degenerate males? You mean men? Are you uncomfortable around them? Yes! It's a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable. If any degenerate tries to touch me, my reflex is to grab them and throw them across the room. Yeah. You're right. That is a way bigger problem than just being uncomfortable around men. By the way, what is this Neo Aikido you mentioned? That's right. Neo Aikido is an original form of Aikido that my master and I completely made up ourselves. So your Aikido is all self-taught. What about you, Mr. Anime Protagonist looking guy? Luminary of the stars. Even crying children adore the ultimate astronaut. No, you're just level two Larry Butts. You are just a stronger Larry Butts. How about it? I'm an astronaut. Isn't that cool? Yeah, I've never been to space, so I don't know much about it. Ha ha ha! Wait, does he have like a, a big ham voice? Well, of course! Not just anyone can get up there. I may be an astronaut, but I'm actually still in training. I see. Oh, I see you're still a trainee. But you know. But you know, but I'm the first teenager to ever pass the exam. I mean, normally you need a college degree to even take the exam. Huh? huh then how did you take the exam? So... I had a friend who was crafty, so I had him forge some stuff for me. Oh, That's illegal. Yeah. Yeah, I ended up getting caught. I was in some pretty deep shit. But the people up top let me in, since I did so well on the exam. Jeez. That's reckless. Got Sometimes you gotta be a little reckless to make your dreams a reality. No way I can wait till after college. I want to go to space as fast as I can. Sure is energetic. I like these characters a lot already. There's not been a stinker yet. All right, next up is, uh, well, this area is the warehouse. Let's take a look in the warehouse, why not? Hey! Wait, who are you? Hey, wait for me! Please stop! Please stop, don't come any closer! The boy in white is chasing that boy in the funny clothes. What's happening here? We got a situation on our hands. Come on, wait up! Let me touch your body a little. I've always wanted to be friends with a robot. Huh? Uh, uh, a robot? What is it? What is it? Are you another robophobe? I mean, not for your type of robot. That's enough. I have a recording function. If you make any ro wait, no, wait, no, not robophobe. No, I'm a robophile. No, guys, sorry, I'm not a robophobe at all. If you make any robophobic remarks, I will see you in court. Hey. Wait, you're a robot? Are you for reals a robot? God, Kaida, you can't just ask someone with your robot. It's 2017. Please stop! I am not just any old robot. I am K1B0, the ultimate robot. But please, address me as Kibo. Kibo! I like you. Kibo. Um. Ultimate robot? Hmm. That's not fair! You can't be the only one who gets to show off. I'll introduce myself too. Uh, go ahead. I'm Kokichioma, the ultimate supreme leader. I'm sorry, what? A robot and a supreme leader. Neither of them make any sense. By the way, By the way I learned the hard way that a robot's breath smells like gasoline. How rude. My breath does not smell like gasoline. I am powered by electricity. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kidding. That is not funny. You're not funny. Of course I don't think I'm funny. Robots can't understand human humor to begin with. Do not mock D me! Don't mock me! I have studied the complete history of stand-up comedy! I think you should have just watched stand-up comedy instead of studying it. Um, Plus, I may have the appearance of a robot, but I am a high school student just like you. Um, You're a high school student? Yeah. I was created by Professor A- Adabashi. 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 The leading authority in the field of robotics. He installed in me a strong AI capable of learning and maturing like a human brain. That's why, at the time of my creation, I didn't know anything. I was like a baby. But... 
but the professor raised me like he was his own child. Okay, so you're just Astro Boy. He taught me so many things until finally he enrolled me in high school. How about this? And now here I stand before you all. See, I'm just like everyone else. Hey, hey do robots have dicks? Hey. Please do not ask ridiculous questions. <laughs> <laughs> I only ask because your backstory is pretty flaccid for a robot. Oh, snap! I mean, just being a robot is probably enough to claim the title of Ultimate Robot. Hey, Koichi, I don't really understand your Ultimate Supreme Leader talent. Oh, I'm just... <gasps> No, you're not. Wait. Oh, I'm just a supreme leader of an evil secret organization, that's all. Huh? Yeah, what? Um, I gotta say, that's uh, pretty impressive. My organization has over 10,000 members. Huh? Seriously, the supreme leader of an evil secret organization? I'm a liar. Who knows? I'm a liar after all. Huh? huh? So you were lying just now? It's true. Well, I am the supreme leader of an evil, evil or secret organization. That part was true. Please. So, were you lying or not? <laughs> Yay! I'm not telling you! Ultimate Supreme Leader, huh? It's the first time I've met anyone with a talent like yours. That's right. Yeah, I saw the documents about the incoming freshman, right, Makoto? Did you know if Ko Ko Kokichi? I want to say Koichi, but I know it's not. Kokichi is telling the truth or not? No. Well, the information on that document may not be complete. <laughs> you have no idea how many crazy things I've done, do you? It's true! If you knew, my subordinates would have eliminated you a long time ago, Makoto. Hey, everything you said so far sounds like a lie, so that's gotta be a lie too, right? Oh, dear. Just leave him alone. Everything he's been saying has been a lie. He's a far more suspicious person than I am, that's for sure. <laughs> well, of course you're not a suspicious person, because robots aren't people, silly. <laughs> oh, are you mad? Are you gonna hit me with a rocket punch? Yo, hit him with a rocket punch! Rocket punch! I, I don't have that function. That's lame. Aw, oh. oh, man, you're boring. God, I am. What a weird guy. He's like a mischievous little kid. Sometimes we be joking around unless he really is an evil supreme leader. Well, diggity dang. Wait, what? High jump bars. Looks like a high jump bar for track and field. Is this place also a pea storage room? Hmm. The RC helicopter. I don't like the, the, the flash to black. Wait, those are just drones. I have that. An RC helicopter. What's this doing in a school warehouse? I have that exact thing. I wonder if we'll use this gym mat for any PE classes. Yeah, I, I don't think you've realized your situation yet, girl. Just stop and think about it for a sec. Okay, well, next up we probably have... Uh, Further down this hallway. Who are you? Maki Harukara. Maki Harukawa, ultimate child caregiver. I like you. You look like, uh, you look like from Persona 5. You look like Yukiko, if Yukiko had a better design. I like your kitty lips, too. Ultimate child caregiver, huh? Surprised. I don't look someone who'd like kids, do I? Huh? Huh? Well, you'd be right. I don't like kids that much. Funnily enough, I'm in the same situation, and I'm going into education to be a teacher. If you are a student in the future watching this video that is still up online at this time, and I am a teacher. Number one, all the words said in this video do not represent the views of the current Tanner in existence. I do not re represent the views of the school board that I'm currently employed with. Number two, hi. But if you're the ultimate child caregiver, then children must like you a lot, right? I don't care. Kids are weird. They come to me on their own. I'm not that good at taking care of them. I'm not that friendly either. Mm -hmm. But they say kids are pretty intuitive, if they like you that much. Hey. You could probably tell how loving you really are, Maki. Mm -hmm. Look at that. Look at that. That, that angry child face. Yeah, that must be it. You've chosen a perfect career for yourself. That's wrong. It wasn't my choice to begin with. Huh? Oh, what do you mean by that? So what? Nothing. It's just I grew up in an orphanage, not saddled with a lot out uh, with uh, with helping out a lot. Orphanage, huh? I see. So if we met everyone, I'm gonna say no. We haven't met you. 
Met. 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 No. Yes. 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 Wait a second. Okay. Yes. No. Yes. 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 Wait. Oh, hi, Hitler. Well. Um, yes. Yes. I like Kibo's really- Okay, so let's see what we got here. So, Ultimate Maid. Okay, so, um, likes, uh, likes cleaning, dislikes taking days off. Likes small spaces, dislikes the ocean. Likes morning lake shores, dislikes- that's really... Hmm. Also, hey, chest size, that's important. Who's the biggest? We're actually pretty big. You're pretty big. Well, okay, obviously. Okay. Wow, we're like second biggest. That's pretty cool. Um, let's see here. Likes nunchucks, dislikes men. Likes EVA foam. Oh, she's the ultimate cosplayer. That's gonna be neat. Likes avocados, dislikes humidity. Likes children's television, dislikes taking it easy. Likes novels, dislikes gossip. Likes houseplants, dislikes the occult. Likes Russian blues and white tip reef sharks. Okay. Extra extraterritorial rights. What? And cars. Arthropods and bananas. Carbonated drinks, pig feet, straw ropes, air conditioning, likes that many volts, dislikes vending machines. I could see that. Vending machines could probably be misconstrued as something really bad. I'm gonna go back to that uh, class, unless, oh no, that's the gym. Let's head to the gym, because they're probably in the gym then there. And then we'll have to go in for later. I did what the letter said and went to the gym. I wonder what's in here. Hey, Makoto, are you ready to go in? Sorry, but this is where we part ways. I can't go past this point. Because you're the protagonist now, Kaide. Huh? What? That's... From now on, you're the one who's going to learn about the situation we're in. What? You might feel despair, but I don't want you to throw away hope. Yeah. Even if there's despair on the horizon, remember that Hajime are here to help you. I'll see ya. Let's meet up later. Huh? huh. What? Wait, 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 Makoto! Taking his hope to spirit. What does, I missed that. What does that mean? It's got into him. Okay. She's mad for second thoughts about going to the gym. There's no point. Okay, so I totally didn't find them. Well, dang. That's fine. Unless I can go back. Poo you finally arrived. What is that thing that popped up? Why, hello there, Kaede. I love your voice. I'm so happy it's still the same. Okay, so wait, did it not save the... the voices? Wait, what? Oh, theme, okay. There we go. I want- I like it nice and high. Because I need to be able to, to hear them. What? We'll be living the rest of our lives here? Wait a minute. You just came out of nowhere and... Uh, I don't get any of this. Not done talking yet, so please shut up. I thank you. I love you. Anyway, if you want to leave the academy, there's a special graduation requirement. I'll explain what this requirement entails. While you live together, you're all responsible for maintaining the harmony of the academy. But if someone was to disrupt that harmony, then they'd get to leave. You with me so far? What do you mean by disrupt the harmony? <laughs> it's simple, really. A student must kill another student. Kill? Whether it's stabbing, bludgeoning, slicing, burning, crushing, strangling, poisoning. The method doesn't matter. The student that kills one of their classmates gets to leave. Work hard to make your undesirable means justify the most desirable end. D don't mess around with us. I would never... Murder anyone! <laughs> Don't you see, Kaede? This is how your story begins! Jeez. My story? What does that even mean? What is this, Final Fantasy X? Oh? 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 You don't know? Didn't 
Makoto say something eerily similar before coming here? Um, you know Makoto? Yeah. Don't worry about the veteran. This is your story after all. Yahoo! More importantly, I prepared rooms for you for new for you new students in the dormitory. You should check out your room. I'm sure things have gotten very interesting by now. Dorms, quickly! You'll know what I'm talking about when you get there. <laughs> My room? Let's check out our room, I guess. Though I had no idea what was going on, I turned away from Monokuma regardless. I've heard so many strange things today. New student, protagonist, killing game. I'm so exhausted I barely have the energy to feel confused by all this. I don't care what the bear says, I will not be part of some killing game. Makoto's still not back. I'm a little worried, but for now I should go to the dorms. Oh, it's just gonna warp me there? I was gonna say we could go check out the other students, but okay. Oh, wait, what? Why is there three of us in a room? I wonder which room is mine. It looks like each uh, door has a portrait. Oh, is it this one? Huh? But it's not just mine. Makoto's and Hajime's portraits are here too. I'll answer that. What does that... Wait, what? Oh, that's on the other stick? You're right. Huh? That's not true. What? Yeah, that's right. You think so? That's wrong. You might be right, but That's crazy. That's a new system. I understand. Hmm. hmm. I normally while I'm playing will just usually twist my put twist the other stick around, so that's why it appeared. This room is prepared for the three of you to share it. Yeah, that's right. Wait, oh, there's different levels? I get it. Yeah. Oh, wow. That's wrong. I don't think so. Yeah, I get it, I but... Understand, but... Huh. It's a pretty penny-pinching measure. It might seem crap, but I'm sure you'll make it work. Jeez. I'm a girl. I can't agree to this at all. Shenanigans in co-ed dorm rooms are the most juvenile of juvenile fantasies, you know? And another thing. Any incident, uh, be indecent behavior in the wholesome halls of the academy will be severely punished. But in the dorms, you can do whatever you want, and I will look the other way. You three will stay in the protagonist's room, because I want you all to get along. Hey. What do you mean by protagonists? Huh? I only answer those qu types of questions once. Don't just stand there. Go inside already. Jeez. You're the one who stopped me. I haven't decided whether I'm sleeping here, but I'm definitely not okay with this. Anyway, I should go inside. What the heck? Huh? What? What happened? This room's a mess. What? What? What the hell happened in this room? Oh my god, don't tell me we're going to have to solve a murder mystery in our own room as a special thing. Bed? It's a normal bed, but it's pretty damaged. Um, what does this mean? What happened in here? Let's see here, what can we click on? Closet? This is a closet, right? I should check inside just to be safe. Oh, wait a sec. This isn't just my room. It's also Makoto's and Hajime's. Yeah. Yeah, I shouldn't open it. There might be stuff in there they don't want me- I don't know, guys don't have clothes that they have to worry about too much. So I can bat these away. What was that? Trashed room? Oh, you can look behind it that way. Slash marks covered the bed and walls. As if someone had gone on a rampage in here. Bathroom door. I peeked into the shower room and there I saw... I'm sorry. What? <laughs> Why are you here? What? This can't be happening, can it? It can't be. Why are you here? He's dead. A body has been discovered. After a certain amount of time passes, a class trial will be held. 
Why are you here? Huh? Class trial? It's a class trial who to determine who killed Yasuhiro Hagakure, the ultimate clairvoyant. To tell you the truth. Jeez, this is like the second time he's died already. Eh, you guys can just ignore that. Hey, um... Although you must kill someone to be eligible to graduate, killing alone is not enough. Yeah, you must kill someone without the other students in order... Yeah, 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 we know that. We know this, we get this, we played it, I've played it. Pick the wrong person, yeah, yeah, we, we get this. Okay, we get the, uh, Monokuma file. Nice. After all, it's not like you guys are pros at examining dead bodies or anything. So I made sure to gather helpful info, such as the time and cause of death. Now then. Go forth and investigate. I'll see you all at the class trial. No way, wait a minute. No it's fine. I promise this will all pay off. You're just gonna focus like you're pulling an all-nighter. Uh. I've never pulled an all-nighter. Oh, girl, you're, you're not missing much. And you can't spring an investigation on us like this. <laughs> poo -hoo -hoo. Talking to me is a waste of time, save for the class trial. <laughs> See you later. Uh. Wait. In the end, Monokuma just ignored me and disappeared. But I have to investigate and find out who killed Yasuhiro? Someone in this academy actually killed someone? Whoa, hey, people. He's already dead? He's really dead? Sheesh. Oh my god, what is that voice? That is not what I expected. Okay, gotta go deep. I'm not used to doing deep voices. Even though the killing game is just... Oh no, it's not good. Deep, deep. Even though the killing game just started, seems like someone wasn't patient. I'm bad at deep voices. What? Are you saying the killing game started? The killing game followed by a class trial, which means Monokuma was serious after all. That's right. We're gonna investigate the murder and find the culprit at the class trial. Kaede, you got the Monokuma file, right? Um, yeah, Monokuma just shoved it in my hands before I could say anything. God. I know it's annoying having him decide things on his own, but we should look at the Monokuma file first. It might have important clues. Hmm. Um, yeah. I haven't seen you in a long time, my dude. The victim was Yasuhiro Hagakuri. The time of death is 1.30 p.m. Uh, the body was discovered in the protagonist's room in the dormitory. The victim died in the bathroom. The killing blow was a stab to the abdomen delivered by knife. Aside from the killing blow, no other injuries can be seen. Oh, well, we got Truth Bullet. 1.30 p.m. That was just a few minutes ago. Ew, his death is still fresh. Hiro was a student at this academy. He was your upperclassman. Yeah. Oh, I see. Hey. Why did Hiro die? In order to solve that, we need to investigate. If we look around for clues, we're bound to find something. There should be some in this room. Then we need to talk to any witnesses. We should also find where the weapon came from. Understood. Yes, but please do not spread yourself too thin. Let us uh, proceed one step at a time. Yeah. Okay, we just have to do it, right? Oh my god, this is such a bigger demo than I expected. Alright guys, next time, we're going to continue this demo, which is going to take multiple parts. Crazy, I know. Thank you for watching the demo part one. Probably part two will be again. So we'll see you next time for some more Danganronpa V3 demo. Ciao! You can push yourself to the limit Be sure to jump with me You can fly above the rainbow With people just in jazz believe Nothing's gonna stop you and me from getting into where we wanna walk